Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Big Mike and welcome to Big Mike's Movie Reviews. Today is Monday, September 11th, 2023 and just next to me is the AMC Rolling Hills 20 Cinema here in Torrance, California. I just got done seeing the first of my soon-to-be triple feature Monday and the first film I saw was the true story film called The Hill. This is based on the true story of Ricky Hill, a young man from Texas who has a bone and spine disorder, who decides to overcome adversity and try out for the major leagues. And I gotta say, I had not seen the trailer to this. Of course, you guys can, because the trailer, as always, is linked down here in the description below. And I gotta say, for what it's worth, I was very, very pleased, because this was a film that was distributed by Briarcliff Entertainment. Now, they are known for their sort of true story films, because earlier, back in April of this year, we had an equally terrific true story film called Sweetwater, which was based on Nat Clifton, which is the true story of the first African-American basketball player signing for the NBA. And I really enjoyed that film a hell of a lot. And I felt that this one fit the same kind of mold because both films talk about overcoming adversity as well as doing what you can no matter what anybody else tells you. And I gotta say, there were some moments, especially in The Hill, that really, really, really hit hard in the heart because... You know, it's really sad to see a young boy growing up in poverty in the, you know, early 60s in, uh, like, rural Texas. And his father, who is a pastor, he's played by fellow Texan, uh, what's his name? I'm sorry, Dennis Quaid. And it's nice because he gets to use his Texas accent in this film. And, you know, this kid, he doesn't let anything hold him back. And as he grows older, he keeps trying to play baseball, despite the fact that his father wants him to be a preacher. And I really like the fact that this kid is not only honest, but the fact that he does persist the whole way, no matter what. Nothing will stop this kid from trying to play baseball. I really like that because it kind of makes me think of myself as someone to come from the other side of the country and trying to come out here to California to get into the film industry because it is tough. It is not a cakewalk. It never has been and it never will be. So when I see inspirational films like this, it's a good reminder. And what makes this film especially good is the fact that it is PG rated and it doesn't have anything that's far too over the top. There isn't really any bad language because it is PG. There's obviously moments where people use different representations for more stronger language. You'll notice it when you see it. And the thing is, it's just enough the mature subject matter as well as the drama that happens on screen that is never offensive. This isn't a hard PG. It's a solid PG. And I really thought that it was just it was just a well-made film. And I really like the entire cast. Everybody that makes up the family, they do a really, really terrific job. Sorry, guys. It is so damn humid and hot outside. As you can tell, it looks like it's going to rain. But don't mind me. Anyhow, um, yeah, I just, I was overall very, very pleased with this. You know, I, I never found myself really too bored by it. There were some moments that do kind of drag their feet. There's some relationship scenes between Ricky and his girl, which kind of, uh, but it's not that bad. But the moments where the movie shines is anytime he is told he can't do something, just give up, and he goes for it. I know that that is cliche. It is a tale as old as time, but it's a tale as old as time for a reason, because it's something we as humans should do. We should not be ever giving up. There is an art to saying no, yes, but at the same time, if we always try to give up, how do we expect to get any further? And that's one of the best messages that this film gives. And I'm glad that Briarcliff Entertainment continues to put out inspirational true stories, sports dramas for the most part, but 
I'm glad that they do have their finger on the pulse of making stuff that is based on reality as well as something that is inspirational. Because in a year, well, who, who am I kidding? In a decade littered with remakes and sequels and bloated $200 million, you know, blockbusters, it is nice to see something a little bit more down to earth as well as based in reality, which is such a good thing I liked about this. Everybody really does a great job. Dennis Quaid especially does a good job as the preacher. He is very, very hard, but he also means very well. And I also really like the performance of Bonnie Bedelia. She plays the uh, the elder in the film, if you will. She's uh, kind of a wise cracking granny, but I really liked her. And that and Scott Glenn, he is rather harsh, but I like how he is harsh because it is the kind of harsh where, you know, he's telling, you know, Ricky to give up. But yet at the same time, he does realize his own flaws, which I do like. You know, I, I really like that aspect. But for what it's worth, I think that, again, this is a solid film. It is the perfect thing to show anybody who wants to be inspired. It has a nice happy ending, and it feels really natural. I really like this film a lot. I'm going to go ahead and be generous, and I'm going to go ahead and give the... the uh, forgive me. I'm going to go ahead and give The Hill a solid B. This was a good film. It wasn't excellent. It wasn't average. It was good. And I must also add, just before I head on out of here to go see my next movie, which is a sequel, I might add. It's My Big Fat Greek Wedding Part 3. It's interesting to see uh, Dennis Quaid in a baseball movie again because he was in a similar, well, not too similar, but he was a baseball player 20 years ago in that Disney produced film called The Rookie. And he was like an older man playing uh, baseball. From what I remember, it's been 20 years since I saw that. I, that was one of the first things I saw when I worked at a dollar theater. So there you go. But no matter, definitely give The Hill a watch. If you can't make it to the cinema, go ahead and check it out on streaming. I guarantee you, if you like a good sports drama or just a good drama in general, I think you're gonna like The Hill. It gives you exactly what you want and what you get is inspiration. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my review today of The Hill. Once again, it's in theaters right now. Go ahead and go check it out. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more movie reviews just like this one. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go head back into the cinema to see my Big Fat Greek Wedding Part 3. And then later on, I'll be seeing another sequel, The Nun Chapter 2. So look forward to those reviews a little bit later. And as always, I will see you guys at the movies. Bye now.